level. Whole, whole nother level. The person who probably was the most influential for me was Juan. Juan Atkins ha has uh, changed a lot of people's lives, and, and I'm sure he knows it, but he's the one. You know, Juan is on a whole different level. Juan Atkins is the person who put all of these crazy ideas of doing electronic music in Detroit <laughs> into any of our heads. Juan is a creative genius. And actually his track, The Chase, was the track that influenced me to make music. Juan was definitely the the most influential, who, who got the curiosity going about this electronic style of music. Some of the highest highs I've ever experienced in my life were with Juan Atkins at the wheels. Juan was always the quiet, really quiet type. I didn't even realize he made music until, you know, after knowing him maybe a year and a half. I happened to go by the studio, Juan had a studio, and uh, Derek took me by there uh, unexpectedly. That's when I knew he was doing something pretty creative. My last two years in high school, I learned how to read and write music took music theory courses, theory one, theory two. Right after I graduated, I made my first record. He was making records when nobody, nobody knew about this music. So it, he spent, some of his best years have been spent just trying to help develop the music. You know, uh, just trying to put the music on a level where it existed. After I graduated, I met this guy, Rick Davis and we both formed, formed this group called Cybertron and released a record called Alleys of Your Mind. One night, Warren Atkins came to him. They had this tape, dun, 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 dun. and I was listening to it. I said, well, man, I like this. Told him to hold on one second, and they were sitting out in the lobby, and we had a radio in the lobby. All of a sudden, they heard their song come on the radio, and it blew their minds. Blew my mind, too. It had the P-Funk, just round, resonant rubber band bass line to it, wah, 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 right? And, uh, and then this uplifting utopian chords and stuff. Um, and it just, people would bug. You play that track in any club in Detroit and you got an instant party. And started Metroplex and another group myself, which I call Model 500, and I started this label and released my first Model 500 record around 85 called No UFOs and the future. See, wine take is intake and Cybertron is a more spiritual. See, this is what a lot of kids miss. It's a spiritual intake. It's spiritual. And he broke some shit down to me that I can't even, I can't even regurgitate that shit back to you. Hearing a Juan Atkins do clear, that track is anthemic to people in London. Um, it's anthemic to Mike Banks of Underground Resistance here. It's anthemic to me. Even though he was only a few months older than me, it was like a mentorship. He, he was there for me when I was developing and working on my first music. He gave me uh, the insight and the, 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 the development, you know, and the, the confidence as well to make music. <laughs> The rest of the world just caught up. 
they're just starting to acknowledge what this individual did.